they were in one of our smaller survivalists. Um, it's 16 feet of living space. You'll notice a few changes he made in here. First of all, he has got two twin beds. And he wanted to be able to section off the lower bed, so there's a curtain on there. Another change is his kitchen area. He wanted to be able to section this off a little bit as well. So it's got a bit of a retaining wall there, sectioning off the kitchen sink from the dinette table. And his dinette table is a little smaller because this is a little smaller confined space. It will still fold down to a bed, but uh, it'll work more like a couch than a bed. He also does not have a furnace in here. So we've got some louvers on the door to help get heat from inside into his water compartment. And because he did queen bed or twin beds, we had to rearrange his water system just a little bit so you can see his water tank right there. With this camp, we got the twin beds in and he wanted a small wood stove. And then he's got the catalytic heater as well for some extra heat and a three burner cooktop. A little bit of the silver backsplash there. And he's got our regular six cubic foot fridge. We had to change some of our electrical out just a little bit because of the catalytic heater. But then he also has a microwave and that is installed in there. He can take it out, but it is secure in there to where it won't move around while he's traveling. And then he got a pretty good sized closet. Nice deep closet. And some more storage below. And then he can access into his electrical components down there. He went with the deep single sink. Got a bank of drawers. It does have the pretty standard bathroom with the shower. He's got the accordion door. Nice space. Doesn't take up too much room, but gives you what you need. So this camp does have the Kensington maple wall color, kind of a blonde color. And he opted for the black aluminum trim around all of the edges. And as around his countertop as well, it gives you some dimension and does have the gas light and the guys have trimmed everything out with the black. Really gives it a lot of pop to the white interior color. And he has got, um, I call this kind of our variegated floor. It's a wood plank floor. It's a vinyl sheet that uh, replicates wood plank and it's got a lot of dimension to it. Hides pretty much everything. He does have our countertop that's our standard autumn carnival. Works really nice in here. Controls for his water heater and water pump. And then down on that end, he's got the controls for his outside light and inside upper lights. This is a look at, at the curtain when it's closed. We've got a lot of people that 
Some are early risers, some like to sleep in a little bit. This way you can kind of section yourself off a little bit, have some privacy. Lots of different reasons for this. We have a few people that ask for some bigger curtains like this. Some of them just make them themselves, but this one turned out really nice. We've got a local seamstress that does some really good work for us. And you can see the curtains that match over the windows. We've got a local girl that does all of our cushions as well and does a really good job with those. A little bit of a look from the inside of the bed with the curtain drawn. Nice and secluded back here. Give them some privacy. This shows some of the storage. With that catalytic heater, we lose a little bit of the space from behind. And because he did um, the smaller twin bed, we don't have a space for a lot of the utilities that we normally do under the bed. So we've relocated. The batteries are under there and there's also a compartment door to get you in so you can get to that storage from inside and from outside. He's got the overhead cabinet, the stereo, and that there is his 12 volt outlet. Got the storage underneath and um, it does have some of our plumbing and you can see our water lines as well and where the city fill is and the outside shower and then he could put some storage bins or some shelving or something if in here if he wanted to get some extra storage and then it also has our drawer bank of drawers. It's got the soft close hinge. He can hang some things on the wall if he wants. Paper towel holders or toilet paper holders in the bathroom. Um, anything to hold knives or hot pads or anything that he might want. We don't put any of the utilities in our exterior walls, so um, you can see that there's gonna be some power lines run right in this area, so as long as you miss those, um, then you can hang things where you need to. But everything is pretty easy to find and get to, so um, the utilities are easy to work on if you need to. He does have the storage in the benches as well. He's got the storage under these benches and then he's got the suit box storage underneath. The horseshoe accents like we normally do and the trim on the ceiling. He did do the air conditioner. This is a really unique camp. Um, the first one we did like this, he's got some good ideas and Everybody's going to have their own purposes for their camp and we will do our very best to accommodate whatever your needs and wishes are.